Man, I just love not wasting time with Notion. I love the fact that I can just sit around, relax, do my thing, and actually have things pop up for myself in Notion. So if you're somebody who wants to quick capture, do amazing things, have an amazing Notion system, maybe you should check out the Notion app system as I am building it out and finishing out the series on how to build the Notion app system right now. Sure, you can watch all the modules or you can save time, get every single template I'll ever make, get a free course on how to master Notion, and all for one price, one time. I'll keep expanding the modules in there as it grows and you can also just get the course uh, for free on Skillshare if you sign up for my free trial, link down below, for no for no hassle, just just do it. Trust me, you'll, you'll be so happy, like ridiculously happy. And for me, when I'm on the go, the biggest thing that I care about is the fact that I can open up this mobile setup and have a bucket list that is this nicely organized. We're talking literally every idea I've ever had of like, oh dang, there's a lot of movies I wanna watch, what do I watch? I got a lot of restaurants. What restaurants are they? Oh, the Salt Shed, I've heard it's good. Uh, coffee shops, ooh, Phil's, Phil's is good. Like just places to go really quickly. Open it up, make it happen. How do I do this? Very simple. In the Notion app system, we already built a baseline page for bucket list stuff. So what we can do here is make some templates. So let's do some templates. So new, let's do icons. See in this mobile setup, I got movies. All right, let's do, do a movie. And then I'm gonna leave this untitled. And then I'm gonna call this where to watch, right? Hide some different properties in here. Okay, and we're gonna do where to watch. Make sure that the idea bucket is bucket list. The sub bucket is interests. And then we're gonna do movie. And then what we're gonna do is dupe this template as many times as possible and change the category. So we're gonna go in here and then change it to a couch emoji and then TV show. Okay, now then we're gonna take this, dupe this, and let's do a restaurant. So there's a burger emoji. Go foo restaurant. And one more time, we're gonna edit this and say address and have another section for hours. Okay, now these don't have to be to-do boxes. That's just, I'm just weird like that. I don't put bullets. We're gonna dupe this and do coffee shop. Oh, coffee. Now what's the reason for having all these templates? The reason is, is we can go to our backend structure page and make, we copy, for example, another page. Let's do a, uh, use the actions one. You can obviously make a custom view one, but we're just gonna take this. We're gonna make this a pinned one, make it a bucket emoji and call it bucket list. Make the sorting number like one or something. Make it so that it's part of the master department. Bucket list number one. All right, now. What we can do here is go back to this, copy this entertainment right here, do a little toggle block, open for more, bold that thing, and then let's copy uh, this movie one right here. Let's copy this, put movies, copy the link to uh, all unused ideas, or you can actually just copy all these. Like you just copy this view in general, right? Maybe put another toggle block if you'd, if you'd like to like nestle it more. But then what you're gonna do for each one of these is you're gonna snag the template and set as default for that view. Let's do it again, set as default for the view, and do this every single time, right? So then, we go in here, copy the TV show, boom, duplicate this. You can even just change the filter really quick to TV show, and then change it to the TV show template, just like this. Change it to the TV show template, change this to the TV show template. I personally think all the unused ideas is the best first one to show, right? So then we can have another section, which would just be the exact same thing, but for this. So we take this, pop it down here, have a toggle block for open for more, and then just change the filters and the auto templates. So we go here, change filter to, would be a ref restaurant, then pick the restaurant filter. Then we do that for the rest of the views. Do the same thing for coffee shops. Now what I'm gonna do is favorite this really quick so it shows up on my phone very easily. And then within this view now, what we have is the quickest and easiest way to capture new movie ideas because it's gonna auto to it. I can put in something like The Hobbit. I can say that it's on HBO Max. Boom, just like that. Same thing goes here. Say I have some sort of coffee shop or restaurants, I wanna try out Pete's Coffee. I can find the hours that it's open, input it on my desktop or my phone, and I easily have it. It works really well for me, like no joke guys. I do have it for my own setup, 
and you'll see right here the amount of TV shows, movies, and YouTube videos that I like can easily just open up the link to or like check where it's on. Like, oh, it's on Netflix. Okay, cool. I'll watch The Witcher. And then when it checks off right here, I watched Manifest already for TV shows. I actually did finish Manifest. I can check this off and it goes away. It's so convenient. It's so easy. It's so me. And what would even be more me is if I asked you to casually go into the next video of this series by clicking this video right here. Just kidding. This is the end of the series, I think.